So tonight I want to speak to my colleagues, the Honourable Members of Parliament, distinguished Senators, and also the leadership of the Judiciary and the leadership of the Executive. God has been very fair to us. God has given us an opportunity to serve this country. But what we have done in return is that we have turned into animals, people who only cares about themselves. All we do is line our pockets. This country called Kenya is going through a tumultuous time. It is going through trying times. And the framers of our constitutions were very clear. They created separation of powers between the three arms of government. They gave the judiciary the power of mercy. They gave us legislators the power of the past. And they gave the executive the power of this world. But today, what we've experienced in this country is that the executive is being controlled by outside forces, specifically the IMF and the World Bank, coming up with policies which are so foreign, which end up destroying the integrity of our nation. They end up destroying the structures of our nation. I want us to remember that we are only in this world for a very short time. Our children, the Generation Z, and also the Alpha, are very really upset. Some of us, Millennials, Generation X, the Baby Boomers, all got an opportunity to be able to enjoy. Most of them, from the community that I come from, got free land. Our children now, the Generation Z and Alpha, will have to be buying that land. But a foreign power comes and tells you, convert freehold titles into leasehold. And you don't care about the consequences or the unintended consequences. We don't need just for the sake of it. We need to be able to please God and to be able to take care of our land for future generations. Let us care about future generations. There's something called intergeneration fairness, which all of us must put ahead to make sure that anything we do, we do it for generations to come. So I want to remind members of parliament that you're not there because you were elected by the president. He too went to the voters and asked to be elected. But the moment you get there, you know and I know very well. And I want to look at you straight in your face. And if I'm lying today, please tell me so. You know we are enticed with money. We are given tokens. Sometimes you are told, pass this bill, you get some little money. For what? And you're just going to fucking die and leave all those things here. In fact, you'll even take that money, you'll go buy the most expensive bottle of whiskey, drink it, go to the best restaurants, sometimes even go get a chick there. You know, and what happens? You fucking go and shit. The Generation Z are pissed off, and they have a right to be pissed off. I want you to also, now, please to our children to forgive us. This morning, I was watching a woman who just lost her child cursing our generation, cursing the president and his family. Is that what we really want? Can we look back and ask ourselves whether what we are doing is just? I know it is not. When I watch tears were just oozing coming out of my eyes, and I'm sad. So I want to request you to think about the separation of powers. You in the judiciary, be fair. Do what God wants you to do. All of us will die one day, and God will be the judge for us. But God has blessed you and given you an opportunity to have the power of us. Make sure you interpret the Constitution. Better. You in the legislative arm of government, my colleagues, let us think about the future of this country. Let us not just vote for the sake of voting. Let us stop this nonsense of worshipping our party leaders. Let us stop this nonsense of worshipping the executive such that the Speaker of the National Assembly even stops the broadcast of a public body proceedings of the National Assembly. You stop them. You don't want them to be broadcast. Shame on you, Mr. Town. You are with me in the Senate. You know, it is ludicrous. I'm sure over the next few months, 
the Generation Z are going to tell us how they want to be led. Not for us to tell them how we should live. We have failed because we are corrupt. We only care about ourselves. As I end, if in these two months we meet our fate or our destiny or our doom, so be it. Because we surely deserve it. But remember that one day all of us will die. Let us do good to the people who will come there after us. Finally, fuck I am.